Hi, top recap here. Today I am going to explain an American action comedy film called, Barely Lethal. Watch out and take care. Prescott Academy is a government-run secret institution trains little girls into becoming assassins. The chief of the organization, Hardman brings them in as young 10 months old to teach them everything about life. Without guidance from outside yeah or ain't it's king machines. They learn to shoot at 3 years old with guns that are taller than them. When they turn 5, Han Siddeley and old Jenna Ice bed car in Ace. Every day, they practice different forms of fighting skills, so when they turn into teenagers, they can be used for several dangerous missions without being suspected. The number one rule that Hardman stands by is no attachments. Therefore, although the girls are all orphans, they have never been allowed to form connections with each other. They aren't given any names and are known as their agent numbers. Currently, the best student in the academy is number 83. She shoots like a killer that she is trained to be and fights the best among everyone. But, the no attachments rule never made sense to her. One day, the girls are at the Oceana Sut. Igni with a pen, holds the toy to her chest. Hardman presents her as a bad example and tears the toy's head. 83 has emotions piling up inside her that are about to burst one day. As time passes, she grows into a teenager with outstanding fighting skills. Her biggest competitor is number 84 who has always been the second best at everything. She despises 83 and could kill her if they weren't working for the same agency. 83 is the first one in her. Dangerous Missons betray all other castmen. As usual, 84 is not happy about it, but she has no authority to protest. Our ensigns, since Sniff Ive, Enridge, Harmit Age the Gill Lever or Tave, Saking Tightener's dies that her V tongue isn't normal. She has missed a huge part of her childhood and doesn't want her teenage years to go in vain. 83 decides to flee from the establishment and its responsibility the next chance she gets. But before that, she has to know what being a normal girl actually looks like. For this, she starts to gather intel on teenage high school life by watching movies like me, Girls, The Princess Diary, and Clueless. Every time she is away on a mission, she buys magazines to secretly read them during boring meetings. One day, her habit gets her in trouble when Hardman finds her reading a magazine as he is briefing her about an important mission. He orders her to come back to her senses because the next mission is very dangerous. An arms dealer and the most dangerous woman in the Mafia, Victoria was located in the city, eight hours ago. She has to be captured alive within two days or else she will disappear again. 84 wants to go on the mission, hoping that it would make her Hardman's favorite but 83 is given the task. In the following scene, we see that Victoria is in a stoosh and neither B knows. She, all of a sudden, the female hostage reveals that she is 83. In an instant, 83 attacks Knock and overpower all her henchmen. She ties a hook to Knox that goes up to an airplane flying overhead. At last, they are pulled up to the plane, and 83's mission is complete. But since Knox still has her gun, she points it at her. 83 cuts the harness and drops into the river below while Knox is pulled inside the airplane. When Hardman notices 83's absence, he tries to contact her on a device attached to her wrist. 83 gets out of the water and hears him. However, she doesn't reply, knowing that this is her only chance to escape her old life. She throws her watch away and decides to never look back. Back in the airplane, Hardman is told that they aren't receiving any visuals or audio from her. He declares her inactive and continues interrogating Victoria. Following that, 83 creates an entirely new identity under the name Megan. She also transfers into a high school in Newton and finds a family to stay with through a website. At the airport, the family comes to pick her up. It consists of the mother, Mrs. Larson, her son Parker and her sarcastic 
Teenage daughter Liz. Liz is not too happy about Megan's arrival and has a hard time adjusting with her around the house. She finds it weird that Megan is excited about normal things like writing. She ages tunely mean around at school. On her first day at school, Megan dresses up in a ridiculous outfit, making everyone stare at her. Only a few minutes in, a bully named Gooch calls her fresh meat as everyone laughs. To make her feel better, Liz gives her less patterned clothes to wear. During the morning assembly, she is supposed to talk in front of everyone as a foreign exchange student. Before going to the stage, she meets a geeky kid named Roger who manages the A slash V for the school's band. As per the movie she has watched, Megan declares him a nerd. She is introduced to the entire school but they make fun of her, calling her names. Soon, they start asking her to go back to Canada where she came from. When the chanting gets louder, the school's band leader Cash interrupts the crowd with a song. He is the most popular guy in the school and is liked by many. Megan is also instantly attracted to him. During the lunch break, some cheerleaders call her to eat with them but she refuses, assuming that they are mean like the cheerleaders from her favorite movies. In biology class, she again meets Roger and makes friends with him. He seems to be attracted to her but all Megan can focus on his cash. The next day, she is assigned as Cash's lab partner. However, other girls from the class ask her to choose another partner, wanting Cash for themselves. After the class, the girls tell Megan that Cash likes girls who play the school's mascot. Megan fails to realize that they are trying to set her up and goes to audition to be the school's mascot. She is selected instantly and called to practice for the next game. During the practice, a group of masked men run towards her and try to kidnap her. Megan uses her skills to easily overpower them, surprising everyone around her. She had thought that the masked people were agents sent by Hardman, but it turns out they are guys from a rival college trying to cause trouble. By the time she realizes this, Everyone is filming her. They upload a video on social media. Much to her horror, in Prescott's base, Victoria is being held and interrogated by Hardman. She is also aware that his way of stealing a good childhood from young girls is wrong. She calls him out for it, but the man insists that he is doing it for a good cause. Victoria also shows special interest in number 84 and is planning to use her to escape. They soon find out about the viral video of Megan and assume she is now working for a rival group. The next day at school, everyone is talking about Megan's outstanding fighting skills. She turns into one of the popular girls overnight. Her day gets even better when Cash calls her to his band practice after school. When she reaches there, she meets Roger and talks to him while waiting for Cash. Roger loves her personality and registers that they have a lot in common. But Megan is too. Derry, Snow's tone hat personer, is beyond excited eye because psych he sons Mardo. Guy, she is in a boy pair trim presco that hard as debishman and refuses to bury her for a worm at eat miss her with a tat drug and finds out she is actually telling the truth. Hardman feels entitled to her life since he taught her everything she knows. He orders her to return to base in two days. Following that, his people dump her on the front porch of the house to make Megan look like she's just drunk. When Megan meets Roger the next time, she invites him to Gucci's party. But since his father is strict about parties, he refuses to go. Megan would feel better if he was there since he is her. Colin for the party Winnie L. Wit Voss forded by for mother to accompany her. To Megan's surprise, 84 is also at the party, now going. He the one the unheard eating the estate, confirm or deny the claim. Roger also comes to the party looking for Megan but is disappointed to see. Cassia sure to be reshown thing date. The next morning, Megan gets on the school bus to see that Hartman is disguised as the driver. He is there to warn her that Victoria has escaped from Prescott and is planning to take revenge on her. 
He offers her to return to Prescott but Megan refuses. Later, we see her and Liz driving to, while in Perseus, Megan L and Tay at Assassin, about her past life. They eventually crash in a junkyard along with the assassin's car. The assassin is lost but Megan recognizes her to be Heather by the scent of her perfume. Liz is in the hospital after the crash. Megan wants to leave before more people get trying to ascend and retaliate with Bemos. Starting that day, they get along well. Megan tells Liz everything about her life as an agent. They shop outfits for homecoming together and get each other ready for the special night. Liz goes out with Gooch, who has changed after spending time with her at the party. Meanwhile, Chase and Megan go together. Megan had thought that the night would be special but Chase hardly talks to her. After spending some time with him, she realizes that his entire personality is being popular. She dumps him and goes to Roger, asking him for a dance. To her surprise, he declines and, turns to his date for the night, Heather. The girls argue about who gets to be his date and, eventually get into a fight. They wrestle around the venue, destroying the decorations. Eventually, they end up in the kitchen where Heather is about to stab Megan. Liz sneaks up on Heather and stabs, her in the leg with a corn dog stick. Then, Megan hits Heather over the head and knocks her out. Following that, the girls run back home to see that Victoria and her people have taken, Mrs. Larson and Parker hostage. Megan fights them efficiently until they capture Liz. She stops resisting for the family's safety but still has hope that Harmon will come to save her. V.S. Hattie knows the very FRS Procord fit. Number 1. Like Megan, she also left Prescott for robbing her of her childhood. She challenges Megan, and cock out Cora via Tron they break in. Megan hugs Hartman, thanking him for the help. In the last scene, she stops Roger on his drive home, and brings him with her to a helicopter ride. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out.